Wednesday, the 28th of September, 2016. I still don't quite have my act together enough to have compiled and edited and put music to all of the footage that I've taken of, like, Ireland, but I will. And I still have not thought of a good punishment for you, Abe, because my last couple punishments have been kind of weak. But I will. Today I want to talk to you about Dick McCall by Peter O'Gillen, I think is how you pronounce his name. This book is a new YA release. It's set in Ireland in, um, as most of the story happens in the Republic of Ireland, but the girl, the main character is from Northern Ireland, in a horrifying future in which Ireland has been isolated from the rest of the world by these, this group of fairies who are punishing them for having taken over the land of Ireland hundreds and hundreds of years ago by taking each child once they're a teenager and they have to survive a full day in the world of the fairies where the fairies are trying to kill them. And it's about a girl who has had polio as a child and her legs are messed up. Nobody thinks that she's going to be able to survive the call. It's a really fun book. I read it in less than 24 hours. I got it because I wanted to read it in Ireland because it's set in Ireland and I wanted to see that while I was here. Abe, you would really definitely like it. It reminds me a lot of Gone. What it made me think about was the difference between the genres. All dichotomies are false dichotomies part two. So the dichotomy that I'm going to talk about is the line between fantasy and science fiction. Because, okay, let's say you've got this book. It's set in the future, but it's also got fairies in it. So do we put it in the shelf with fantasy, or do we put it in with dystopian YA, which is really mostly what it is. Because on the one hand, it's about a teenager who has to survive this brutal future universe where everything is terrible. You know, she has to fight to the death. It's very Hunger Games in that way. And so that would put it pretty neatly in the category of dystopian, which is a subgenre of science fiction, because it's set in the future and usually has to do with wacky scientific advances that make it. So like the Hunger Games. The Hunger Games is undeniably science fiction because it is set in the future and has wacky genetic mutations. But on the other hand, it has a lot more in common with things like Harry Potter, things in which magic is revealed to be real, things that are undeniably young adult fantasy. Arbitrary categories like science fiction and fantasy. What nonsense. When it's so much easier just to call it Speculative fiction. Speculative fiction is effectively any stories that speculate about something, have something that is not currently real. And that thing that they're speculating about can be science-based. It can be astrophysics. It can be biology. And that's where you get, like, hard science fiction from. But it also includes things when the speculation is not what would happen if we had intergalactic engines, but instead what would happen if we had a government that forced children to fight to the death. Or, I don't know, if there were superheroes. Superheroes are sometimes science fiction, sometimes kind of straight fantasy. And then you have something like this, which is not science fiction at all, but is speculative fiction because it's speculating on what would happen if there were fairies and they wanted to kill us. So what I'm proposing is that, first of all, people stop treating science fiction and fantasy like they're mutually exclusive categories that make sense, because they aren't, and also that we start using speculative fiction more in our day-to-day -day discussion because it's just easier. It's better. That's all I got for you today, Abe. See you on 